In this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to be tackling optimization, which is an applied maximum or minimum problem. Again, this is one of these few lectures where it's really best to teach by example. So basically, we have a situation here where we have a luscious green meadow and we're trying to keep our cows inside of it. Let's say this is a wild, wild west where basically wherever you can put up a fence, you own a land. So we're going to build a fence, but we only have, say, 200 feet of fence. And we want to grab as much area as possible because we want as much land as possible. So how do we maximize our area with the given amount of fence? Well, this is going to be an optimization or applied maximum minimum pro problem. So let's put up some fence here, but let's not put in any values yet. We know that our area is going to be the base times the height of any square. And I'm going to make a limiting case here. We're going to grab a square piece of land. You can actually maximize it by doing a circular piece of land, but and it's not illustrative, so let's say that it's we're going to build a square. So the area is the base times the height, and we know that the perimeter is equal to 2 times the base plus 2 times the height. So now we can use this information, combine it to make one function, because we know that our perimeter is going to be 200 feet, because that's the maximum amount of fence that we have. We have 200 feet, so... Let's solve this equation to get area in terms of, say, the base. So we'll get 200 minus 2h equals 2 times the base. The base is equal to 100 minus h. We can substitute that into our equation for the area, and we get area is equal to base times 100 minus, excuse me, is equal to h times 100 minus h. Because we substituted the base in. We can distribute that through and we get area is equal to 100h minus h squared. So what we did here is actually a pretty fantastic thing. We created an equation that describes how much area we get for a particular height. So if we say that we want the height of our rectangle here to be equal to a ridiculous 3 feet, we can plug that into this equation down here and find out how big our, and find out how much area we get for doing that. And you could plug it into this perimeter equation down here to get the length of your base. You can figure out how long your base has to be under that situation too. It would be 97 feet and you figure out how much area you get. So now that we have an equation that describes how much area we have, we want to find where area is max, or the maximum of it. And this is something that we did with our uh, concavity problems. You take the first derivative of it. So a prime is equal to 100 minus 2h, and you set that equal to 0, and you can find what value of h is going to give you the maximum height. And you solve this, you get 2h equals 100, and h equals 50, which means that your base is equal to 52. You can take this value, plug it back into your equation here, and find out what your maximum area is. Now, one thing that this hasn't told us yet, quite inconveniently is whether this is a maximum or a minimum. We've assumed that this is a maximum, but in some of the problems we do, that's not going to be the case. Sometimes it's going to be a minimum. Sometimes we want to find the minimum, and we might come up with a maximum. So there is a little bit of playing around with these. It comes with practice for the most part, but generally we're going to build the tools now where you can figure out how to maximize or minimize something using the derivatives. So it's actually pretty cool.